Today's topic, collecting a round shoulder and a hunched posture. Have you ever purchased something like this posture correction device? Dreaming your posture will be perfect after using it. I was. I purchased this one and uh, tried to adjust it so it's gonna be perfect for my back. But after using 20 minutes, noticed my shoulder, neck, lower back, and the front pain. That's because I was correcting posture without improved cause. Today, we'll stretch the muscle under collarbone, under the armpit, to release tension between back and the front. So we can correct round shoulder and the hunched back posture. Are you ready to start? Let's close your eye and breathe freely. Allow your body to soften. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Couple more times, your own pace. And next inhale, let's tap right under your collarbone and massage. And I notice around here, some part is really tight. And open up your arm and just tap your arm under the armpit. Going to the side of the body, armpit. Another side, under the armpit, side of the body, and under the armpit. When you use keyboard, your palms are down usually. So today we are going to concentrate, open up our palms, externally rotate upper arm. So inhale, palms up, and open, release, exhale. Inhale, palms up, and open. Exhale, we'll add a little more. Inhale, palms up, bring arms back, and exhale. And when you bring your arms back, you might be notice you're making yourself, your hip going back like this. If you notice this position, that makes your lower back so painful. So think about you have a jeans with nice cowboy belt buckle and you want to look at the buckle so you have to make yourself tilt and don't look at it that's the position and let it go let's inhale palms up exhale palms going bring back and feel like looking at the buckle and let it go now, from this position, we will stay for a while. So what your attention is, think about your shoulder blade is almost touching, or you are putting yoga ball between shoulder blade, squeezing. If your arms are a little lower, if you can bring it up a little, 
And do you notice front muscle under your collarbone is really stretching? Breathe. Are your elbow straight? Let's see, you can bring a little more arms higher. Next, exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale, palms up. Exhale, let's bring palms behind your body. Elbow straight, looking at the back and let it go. And think about the yoga ball, between shoulder bread. And breathe, shoulder relax. Away from your ear, arms up. As you exhale, let it go. Next movement. We are going to stretch under our armpits. So you are going to use right finger right next to your shoulder joint. And another four finger under your armpit, center of armpit. You're going to press. It's not too painful, but feel good and press. So with inhale, bring your left arm up. As you exhale, twist. And bring arm behind your body. I'm going to do from side. You're still pressing, inhale, bring arms up. Externally rotated arm. I'm going behind, exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, externally rotated arm and going back. And when you are doing this pose, inhale. Exhale, don't bring your breast, chest going back. Your chest is always forward. Inhale up. Exhale, externally rotate, arms going back. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, externally rotate, and arms going back. Release. Check. Let's do another side. My thumbnail touching around the shoulder blade, but under collarbone. Four fingers go my under armpits about center and finding the spot that kind of uh, muscle is too much tension. I squeeze, not the crying, painful squeeze, but squeeze somehow. And I'm going to do from side. As you inhale, let's bring right arm up to the sky. As you exhale, externally rotate. Right arm going back. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, externally rotate. Bring your arms back. Inhale. Exhale. And if this is too much, you can do just as much as you can. Small is good, just a little is good. After five times, release your hand and just rotate your shoulder and just tap again. Notice a little bit right up. Now we are going to stretch same place, another method. First, we are going to stretch under our armpits. You might be already guessed. We are going to create puppy pose. So first, you are going to create tabletop pose. And let's bring your arms forward. Forward, 
and forward. Attention is your arms really going forward and feel stretching you under your armpits. When you can't go anymore, maybe your forehead touching the ground. Couple breaths here. And next, inhale, bend your elbows, straighten your knees to create swing pose. Let's make Buddha's nap time pose. We're just laying down watching the TV pose. Press your left hand around your ear. Straighten your leg. Right hand is supporting your body. You're going to bring your top leg. Bend your top leg, right leg. And right knee on the mat. And your left leg is just bend straight. Bend straight. Bend straight. What we are going to do next pause is we are going to stretch our front part. So let's bend your left knee, hand in front of you, palms up, and bringing the palms behind your body. What you are going to do is you are going to place your left ankle under you are right palm. You grab that. So here, what you are going to do is try to stretch your left leg. And you notice because of doing that, you are stretching under the carbon. Not too much, but try to stretch. So you are stretching out the crab on to right arm all the way to the right wrist. It's a feel good kind of stretch. And exhale, let it go. Right arm comes forward. And straighten. We are going to do another side, but I'm going to change the position. You can be stay same side or you can also change the position so you can see me. Now straighten your leg. My right palm is supporting my head. Left hand is supporting my body. Let's bring your left knee on the mat, bending about 90 degrees, whatever it's comfortable, you can support your body. And bend your right knee, straighten. Right knee, straighten. Bend, straight. Bend, straight. And bend. Next time, Inhale, let's bring your palms up, left hand palms up. I'm going to bring your left hand palms behind your body and place your palms under your left ankle. So I'm going to just bring it up and show you like this way. And my left leg, try to straighten up. Never can't stretch because I'm holding it. But because of this movement, you will notice your left side under carbon is stretching. Left arm stretching. All the way to left wrist. Stretch, stretch. Doesn't this feel good? And another part of the body, just try to soften. Next, exhale. 
like this, back, and bring your arms forward. Make yourself swing forth. So now, we are going to stretch a little more of the front part, included armpits. So let's bring your left arm to the left side and bring your left cheek on the mat. Bring your right leg up. Bend your right knee. And sort of the right foot searching the ground. And you feel your left side shoulder rotator is really, really opening. You can stay here or inhale, bring your right arm up to the sky. And as you exhale, bring your right hand, flip over, touch your lower spine. And flip over again, palms touching the lower spine. Flip over. And flip. And flip. Next inhale, let's bring your right arm up to the sky. Exhale, bring right arm the ground and deep twist your body. And when you settle to this pose, slowly, slowly bring yourself to Sphinx pose again. Let's do another side. I'm going to do another direction. So let's bring your right arm to the right side. Right cheek on the mat. Bring your left leg up. You can just bring, right here it's good. Only if you can bend your left knee. And bring all the way or somewhere you can stop. Feel your right side, shoulder is opening. Inhale and put the air around that area. And exhale, soften. And next inhale, only if you can bring your left arm up to the sky. Exhale, let's bring your left arm behind your body, maybe around your butt or lower back, wherever you can touch. And flip your hands or palms outside. Flip over. Flip palms outside. And flip. Next inhale, bring your left arm up to the sky. And let's bring your left arm down and deep twist yourself. Slowly, slowly. And when you are ready, create yourself swing at the first, tuck your toes in. And ready to create child pose. Round the spine, sit on your heels. Palms up. Couple of breaths here. As you inhale, slowly, slowly bring yourself up. Just feeling your spine. I did a lot of stretching your front part and armpits. 
Last one, I'd like to show you using the wall. So let's stand up. I hope you can see me, how to do it. So palms are up. Your uh, pinky finger section is going to touch the wall. And pretend touching the wall. Straighten my elbow. And my arm is not too low. Just shoulder length a little higher. And what you are going to do is feel like you are peeling away from your wall. By doing this, you feel stretching from under carbon to armpits. Um, all the way, just like we just did on the ground. Same method. And exhale, let it go. Coming back and release. Next one, I'm going to use wall. So I'm going to open up the palms up. My side of the finger pinky finger touching. And my arm is about shoulder height or a little higher. When I'm ready, I'm going to peel my body away from wall. This is really feel good. And I don't have to lay down. So this is another method you can do during the day or work. It's really, really stretching and breathe. As you exhale, coming closer to the wall and release. Inhale, palms up, bring the arms behind. Shoulder blade touching each other, elbow straight. Think about your Titanic heroine. Feeling the air of the ocean. And exhale, let it go. Let's sit down. So today we did several movements to stretch our under the carbon armpit area. All these movements will help you prevent round shoulder syndrome or hatchback spine syndrome. Have a nice day. Namaste.